Hey yo, what is good ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Chad once again bringing y'all another video man and I'm just outside chilling with my dog. There go my dog Joey in my backyard. And today I'm just doing a video. This probably looks like a quick video. I haven't uploaded in a little minute just because I've just been chilling trying to get my mind right. But this video I'm going to be talking about accountability. Um, and what I mean by accountability is exactly, I guess, what I said, accountability. Um, this has to do with just everything in society where society has kind of moved towards a group thing type of idea, like a, a collective where no one wants to be an individual, think for themselves, take personal accountability, as well as accountability for others. You know, we live in a society where it's seeming like as time goes on, more and more people are becoming more self-absorbed like in the bible it does say in the end times people will be lovers of self um and the love for many will wax cold and that's really what i see happening you know people want everything their way or the highway either you you know agree with them or you don't and you can see that it's starting to take a toll on society because there's no like it said, love for each other. People don't, you know, agree to disagree anymore. People don't want to have conversations. People don't want to talk to each other, figure out how the other person thinks, why they came to this conclusion, hear the facts, hear the truth. They'd rather stick to their truth. And this is my truth instead of the truth. You know, there's no such thing as my truth. There's no such thing as, um, their truth you know different things it's only one truth it's only one truth and you know that's jesus and god but besides that um i see a lot of people also trying to default accountability to some specific category or become a victim you know that's the um i guess you could say easiest example of how i've seen you know people you know, not taking accountability is when it's time for accountability, they victim blame. They 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 be, they become a victim. So similar to how like if you've seen recently, Candace Owens um, has exposed Patrice Cullors for, you know, basically with Black Lives Matter being like a faulty organization, they taking money, doing things with it. Instead of Patrice just being like, you know, it is sketchy. I'm not transparent with my financial resources. She came, she claims that Candace Owens is harassing her, um, trying to use right wing talking points, trying to be a white supremacist and she's black. And it's just like, yo, where is the accountability when it comes to the abortion issue, right? Everybody may not agree with me, but when you are going to lay with someone else you already know in your head there are consequences to this you can have a baby you may get you know std you may you know just different things may happen and that's just something that just comes with it because there are consequences to our actions and we have to take accountability for our actions you know what i told myself a long time ago i even wrote in this like um what is it called this like kind of like a wordpress kind of thing i had wrote an article about how i'm gonna start living my life intentionally meaning that every decision i make was going to be intentional so there are no regrets behind my decision It's no well actually you know this person did this to me or oh my gosh you know i i, I didn't think this was gonna happen I'm, I'm gonna just resort to being a victim no i told myself that i'm going to be intentional with every decision i make so that way Hold on a second. My stuff is like ringing in the back. The little symbols right there. So yeah, I told myself I was just going to be intentional with every decision I made. So that way I can have one, no regrets in life. And two, I'm the one who made my decision. So if something goes wrong or if I messed up or if I did something to someone and it had consequences, I know that I'm the one who's accountable for that. And I'm fine with that accountability. Also, like for these YouTube videos, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Now, if I'm wrong or, you know, I'm looking at it from an angle that, you know, is not the truth, you know, I'm going to take accountability for my actions. But I'm going to also stand 10 toes down on what I say. I'm not going to go back and apologize for what I say, you know, unless I disrespected someone or did something that does need apologizing for. 
but I'm going to take accountability for what I say. And that's what I mean. A lot of people don't say what they mean. They say things, but they don't stand behind it. And it's like, you need to take accountability for yourself and just own up to everything you do. Like I said, I'm, I'm living my life intentionally. When I do something, it's intentional. I know I'm doing it. I'm conscious I'm doing it and everything like that. And this slick reminds me, I, um, from time to time, um, see this girl's tweets that I, you know, really like. She's kind of like a conscious, um, tweeter, um, where she brings up very good arguments, right? And she had a tweet that says, her name is For the Life of Amy. And she says, the reason why people have a hard time taking accountability for the things they do is because they do things without a conscience. Anyone who consciously makes decisions is never afraid to take accountability for what they do. And to be honest, she's exactly right. Those who, you know, do things with no conscience, their conscience is sme is um, seared, as it says in the Bible. You know, they just do things just to do it. They don't know why they do it. They don't know that they were programmed after, you know, media getting to them and different things like that of just doing things just to actually do them. You know, and a lot of people, if they sat back and just took the time to say, why do I do the things I do? They would realize like, man. I have been tricked, I've been swindled, the propaganda, the indoctrination has worked, and I need to start taking accountability for my own thoughts, my own ways, what I'm putting in my body, what I'm seeing. People would rather, like people who get overweight, they'd rather blame the food they're eating than blame themselves for still eating the food. Like at some point we have to take accountability. And this kind of goes, um, with this Bible verse, I've been reading a lot of Ecclesiastes lately, because that's just... I say that all the time, but it's my favorite book in the Bible. And, you know, it talks a lot about being wise and a lot about, you know, the teacher giving his lessons. And um, for Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, um, it says this, um, chapter 7, verse 4. A wise person thinks a lot about death while a fool thinks only about having a good time. And when I think of fools, it's like these are people who have no conscience. They're just out here doing what they want to do. They have no accountability. They're just living life, trying to do things on their own terms. And they just try to have a good time with it. Whereas a wise person, when it says thinks about death, you know, we think about our actions. We think about how we have to take accountability for the things we do in life. We think about, you know, um, a lot about death and death meaning like our spiritual life like whether we you know have life with god or if we're constantly sinning and having death with him or after we die will we have eternal life or will we have real death like that's what it means by thinking a lot about death but like it says a fool only thinks about having a good time they don't want accountability they want to think with everybody else they don't want to take charge of their life and i realize that's happened a lot in society society has dumbed down everybody to where People no longer want to think for themselves like Elon Musk Neuralink, right? As good as Elon Musk is doing with Twitter, right? It's gotten to the point where I feel like Neuralink, they say, oh, to make people smarter and give them things to do this. Now, the people who are disabled, you know, it may actually help them. But for others, it's like they don't want to think even more. They're just going to let the technology and stuff do the thinking for them. Like at some point, people have got to take accountability for themselves. Um, this also brings me to, let me actually see what the chapter is. Hold on. So I found it here is Ecclesiastes um, 11, 9. And it says, young people, it's wonderful to be young. Enjoy every minute of it. Do everything you want to do. Take it all in. But remember that you must give an account to God for everything you do. So right, right then and there, you see it says, enjoy yourself live your life you know have fun with it but regardless of how fun you want to have and how you know foolish you want to do things because like it says foolish people only take um only think about having a good time that god you must give an account to god for everything you do and i think that's what a lot of people don't realize like when they just blindly support movements blindly say things act in ways that are just them being selfish not doing you know the right thing not trying to take accountability they're like oh i don't have to take accountability i can just play the victim card and people may fall for it here on earth but once you die you're gonna have to give an account for that people who miss who lead people astray all the time they can say oh like 
let's just use for an example let's just say you have some church pastors who instead of leading people to god they want to lead people to themselves behind closed doors they're still in the money doing things that are just immoral different things like that it's like yeah you can fool people here yeah you can take delight in your foolishness like like it says in ecclesiastes 7 while a fool thinks only about having a good time and you can do anything you want to do here but after death you're going to have to give an account to god and wise people they think a lot about death so we're thinking about the accountability how our actions affect others how our actions affect others what the words we say do to others how we have to take accountability for ourselves every decision we make has a consequence has a lesson there's a right and a wrong but yeah man i just wanted to make this video because i was thinking about you know just like the lessons i'm learning in ecclesiastes i read it again and again and like it also says in ecclesiastes i forgot the verse but it does show that you know a wise person the, there's no limit to the amount of wisdom you can gain there's always new wisdom and knowledge and god always delivers delivers it to me when i read his word every single time i just get more wisdom more knowledge as time goes on so yeah thank you guys for watching um basically the whole message here is everybody take accountability for yourselves be an individual think for yourself don't do group think don't try to be a collective that's why society is the way it is now but as always it's been your boy chad thank you guys for watching and i'm out peace